Good morning. My name is Ira Graves, Air Operations with Team 5 on the Mosquito Fire. Uh, Going to give you a little bit of an operational update of some of our aircraft uh, tactics of what we've been using and some of the fleet that we have that's been helping with that effort. So uh, yesterday we were working primarily uh, all around the fire, but we've been working in the open lines in Division Charlie, Division Hotel, and then down in the southeast here in, in Division Charlie Charlie and Gulf Gulf area. Um, primarily what we're doing is we're using retardant and water applications uh, to keep, keep the fire out of the community of Forest Hill over here in Division Charlie, and then up on the north and the south, we're using those applications with the crews to try and progress down the line and find opportunities where we can uh, turn the shoulder to corral this thing on either end. Um, some of the fleet that we have that's helping us out with these efforts is a large group of helicopters. So we have some type one helicopters, which are very large helicopters. They're carrying anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 gallons of water. Um, we have buckets and tanks involved in our fleet for both those type one helicopters, and we have a total of 10 today. Uh, we also have Type 2 helicopters. Those are carrying about four to 500 gallons of water, uh, and we have three of those. And then we have Type 3 helicopters, which are a little uh, smaller. We're utilizing those not so much with water. We're use, uh, using those for intelligence gathering and aerial supervision. So we have two HELCO, that's helicopter coordinators, uh, and that's part of our supervision up there for all of the helicopters. We have uh, two more Type 3s that we're utilizing for recons uh, to go out and scout the fire. And then we have a fifth one uh, that we should be utilizing today or tomorrow that's gonna be primarily used for infrared and fire perimeter mapping. Uh, we have two super scoopers, which are fixed wing airplanes that carry about 2,000 gallons of water. And those are gonna be dipping out of some of the larger reservoirs uh, around the area when we utilize those. Those are, those are water only dropper uh, planes. We also have a night fleet of helicopters. We have a night Helco, that's a type three, and that's a, a National Guard ship that's being used with CAL FIRE staffing uh, personnel for aerial supervision and nighttime intelligence gathering. We also have another type one uh, Blackhawk S70, and that's a CAL FIRE machine, and that uh, is doing water dropping. And we're doing about anywhere in between three and four hours a night of uh, night flying. Last night they flew about four hours and they're doing about 20 drops a night uh, is what we're getting out of them. A um, Couple nights ago we were working down in the Division Charlie Charlie area and they were working out of this Stumpy Meadows Reservoir. Uh, last night they were helping in the efforts around uh, the communities up here and same thing, uh, getting about 20 drops out of them a night. So that's been a great help. Uh, we also have a 24-hour capable hoist helicopter that's here, and that's uh, Kern County, and they're a great asset. We have them sitting up in Grass Valley just in case of an emergency. We haven't had to use them once yet, so that's always good news. And uh, we also have a lot of UAS on this incident. Uh, right now we have five. We're getting a sixth one in today, and there's a, a variety of different types there. So we have type four UASs, which are small handheld ones, a uh, little lower flight time, uh, but they'll go out and they can do some scouting with their cameras um, with infrared to, to pick up hot spots or just a clear, clear visible image to look over ridges and, and see where crews are. And then we have some type three UASs. Those are slightly larger ones. And those uh, just have a longer battery life, a little bit better camera on them, um, but for the same use. So they're looking for picking up infrared, those heat signatures that we can't see with the naked eye, uh, and then scouting ahead of the crews. And that's our total fleet of what we have for aircraft, and that's your operational update for air ops on the Mosquito Fire.